with the release of the brand new Fortnite OG season. I know there's a lot of players coming back to the game, a lot of new players wanting to play the OG season. Listen, this video is gonna show new controller players, old controller players, what they might have missed out on with their settings, anything they might need. I'm gonna be going through all my settings, my graphics settings, everything for you guys today. So let's just jump straight into this. All right, right out the gate, let's just jump straight into the settings, right into the display settings, man. Just full screen, 1920 by 1080, nothing crazy. I have a 360 hertz monitor. Some people have 240, 144, 165, whatever. Just put this at whatever yours, your monitor is. I use performance mode. I find it the best. I think everything about performance mode is literally the best. I use brightness on 150 and Deuteronope 2. I think this is the best to be able to like see through zones. So like if you're stuck fighting in a zone or like you're trying to rotate in and you're getting held, you can still see in zone and it's just fine. I have my 3D res at 95% because it gives you a little bit of lower input delay where you don't really lose any like visibility in the game. So I think it's kind of perfect. Feels great. View distance near, textures low, low, all that. I have this on, report performance mode stats off. You don't really need it, it doesn't matter. Now this, obviously your regions, whatever region you play, I'm east, I'm zero ping. Stop playing with me, you know Stop playing with me. <coughs> Auto open doors, I still use that. I've been using that since the game. Make sure you guys turn on, hold to swap pickup. You need this on, it is one of the best settings ever or else you're just kind of fumbling around your inventory. Uh, some of these other stuff's up to you. Auto pickup weapons, that's up to you. I do use preferred item slots. I have my shotgun in my first slot, SMG in my second, AR in my last. Now this is really good because I only have to tap my bumper once when I'm at my shotgun to like get to my SMG or if I'm at my shotgun, I can get to my AR. So it's really good for like pressuring walls and stuff like that with my shotgun. Reset build choice. I always keep that on. You always want to just have it on. It doesn't matter too much now because of Builder Pro, but I, I just keep it on anyways. I do have my pre-edits on. So what I mean by that is like I can edit my wall before I build it and place it down. I I like it. You know, you can go for some pretty crazy plays. I'm not going to lie. Get a little pre-edited wall on somebody. But another kind of personal preference thing. You don't have to use it. You can. I do not use edit on release or the edit reset. I don't use either one. I don't like it at all. It's just not for me. This is just a bunch of other options you can use that are not used. I'm just going to go through it real quick for you guys. Turn these two off. I'm surprised I actually have them on. But you actually want to turn these two off you'll get better input delay or you'll get lower input delay and everything for these it's definitely good to have these off i don't know why they weren't off maybe it's because i reinstalled my game now these are my radical settings i just have on on list list just makes it so you see every single number you're tagging for whereas cumulative adds them all up so like if you hit someone for 180 it'll just tell you you hit them 180 instead of listing every single number i like using list i don't know why to me it just looks better i have hits and icons on I don't think it really changes anything damage scale 125 that just makes the numbers bigger that's all now hud size is 80 percent nothing too crazy there any new controller players do not do not use gyro settings okay don't use these off turn them off i'll just get through my keyboard settings just real quick just in case anyone wants them 3.6 3.6 50 50 115 115 and this is my double movement i mean i don't play keyboard all the time but i do sometimes but it's nothing that really it don't matter this this is the bread and butter right here though this is what we want the controller settings Ooh, controller auto run on build immediately on the, these that doesn't really matter Edit hold time doesn't matter you can have this all the way up or off because i use an instant edit so i have no hold time at all anyways slide hold time as long as it's like 0.85 and below I think it's really good i like 0.85 it's a nice little resting point for me pitch i don't even know what this does i just keep it on this i just kind of have it there it does i don't i don't think it does anything to be honest vibration i have it off that's just personal preference now this quick weapon you do not want to use this i have it on custom only because i just don't use it quick weapon is terrible it is not good you're better off using your bumpers or whatever you use to switch weapons because this this is not it you don't want to use this it is, it is probably the worst thing they've ever added for controller. Now, my build mode and edit sense is 1.9 and 2.5. Now, that's a pretty big gap, but it gives me, like, perfect crosshair placement to come out of an edit and just, like, hit a little one pump on someone. I'm always on their head. It's just kind of perfect for me. Then my look and horizontal speeds, both 43, 43. I've used this sense forever now. I'm not going to lie. And then 2, 2 boost. This is what I've used for probably the last year of like fortnite and it's worked for me so well so if you're new you want to try sense try this and then maybe work around it or you might just like it you might like it and then my ads is 6.6 .6 with a 3.3 boost it's pretty low it's pretty low but i've been frying recently so it's really i don't think it's that much of a problem to be honest look dampening time i used to use it at 0.3 
Uh, I have it at zero right now, but I might try 0.3 again. I'm not too sure. Uh, linear is my input. I use aim assist 100%. That's, I need my aim assist, bro. And then 10, 10 dead zone. Every controller is different. Sometimes this needs to be higher because you have stick drift. And sometimes you can have it even lower if you want. I, I like 10, 10. It works for everything. Enable foot controller on because it gives you a little bit of extra aim assist. It gives you a little bit extra. All right. Vehicles accelerate with thumbstick. I have that on because, I mean, I just... Just easier. This is my audio. Everyone's audio is different. I have a GoXLR, so my stuff's like lower, but like it still sounds fine. I use sound quality high. You can make it low if you want lower input delay, but you don't have to. I just use high anyways. 3D headphones I use, I find it amazing to be honest. It's weird to get used to, but once you do, it's literally the best thing of all time. Visual sound effects, everyone needs to have this on. This tells you so much information that you can't actually hear because it'll tell you things from a distance that just you don't know what's going on that i have my voice chat off i just i don't use it i use discord run through my keyboard settings real quick nothing too crazy i'm just gonna go through it for anyone that might want to see like i said i don't play keyboard all the time but i do sometimes so if you are new coming back to the game you know you could use that use a scroll wheel reloads r weapons uh walls q floors f stairs are e roof is left shift and i edit with v that's that's basically like the main parts of of my keyboard binds there's not really too much going on now my controller binds this is where some people it might differ not gonna lie here let me so on controller i edit with left stick which i've used forever it's probably the best edit you can get on especially if you're playing claw honestly yeah if you're playing claw paddles or no claw like left stick edit is just one of the best edits i don't know it's easy to hit it as fast as you want like everything it's so good and then i use switch mode as b which is my back paddle so i do use four paddles on my controller i'm gonna try and here let me try and show you guys four paddles on the back of my controller so i have switch mode as one of my back paddles is my back left paddle jump is my back right paddle toggle pick x is my top right paddle and then i have sprint as my back left paddle like my top left paddle so i have four paddles just for that i do use oh i do use a ps5 scuff it's the fps pro i'm pretty sure the fps reflex something like that it's it's what i've used for a while now i actually like it a lot not gonna lie my build controls are pretty normal like i said i edit with left stick there's nothing else here really changed i confirm with r1 and i reset with uh lt or l2 it depends on like what you use but it's uh my left trigger you know uh, left trigger l2 whatever I, playstation xbox two different things i know i know these settings work for both i've played both consoles before they work for both and honestly those those are all the settings you need you can be moving like in no time i'm not gonna lie especially if you're coming back from not playing for a long time because the og season and you want to get a head start on all your friends try these settings hop in creative build around a bit you'll be hitting max damage shots everything no problem getting every win clutching up every 1v4 for your squad like you don't even got to worry about anything anymore as always though guys i appreciate you watching the video i love you all i'll see you in the next one